Well, we have a, another bout for you. Four-round junior welterweights, Miguel Cotto and Jacob Godinez from the Fort Worth Convention Center in Fort Worth, Texas. Jacob Godinez turned pro in December of 1988. Four and ten. Three knockout wins. He has lost eight consecutive bouts. And of those eight, five have been knockout losses. He took off 1991, 95, 96, 98, and down in 2000. Miguel Cotto made his pro debut here on Friday Night Fights. Back in February, the Puerto Rican native is 20 years of age, 139 pounds. He stopped Jason Doucette at 212 of the first round. He landed 22 of 59 punches in his pro debut. Very talented prospect. Robert Chapa is our referee for this next bout. Got good quick hands. Cotto lost his first bout of the Olympic Games in the 140-pound decision. 140-pound weight class. But he's got a lot of talent. And we'll see if Godinez offers any resistance. I was just going to say, I don't know if we're going to see much proven in this match. You talked about Godinez's inactivity. Quite simply put together, he's been a pro over 12 years. He's been inactive nine years. And he has been knocked out five times and lost eight in a row. In fact, his last win was December the 22nd of 1992. And he's 29 years old. If that's not bad enough. He took the fight yesterday. Right now, it looks like Koto is taking his time, trying to assess the man in front of him. Trying to make sure that he dots all his eyes, pulls his own teeth, that he's fundamentally sound. Setting up the right part. There's a right hand that staggers Godinez. The fight doesn't figure to go too long. Koto, to Koto. Koto's people think that he might actually wind up making hay as a professional boxer as a lightweight. Good body shot by Cotto, and that was the right place to go. Godinez is down. Godinez was on a rope moving his head. Cotto, who's fundamentally Seven. solid, Eight. went to the body. I don't think we're getting out of this first round here, and I don't think I'm being exactly uh, Sherlock Holmes by <laughs> making that statement. So the people that handle Cotto were thinking about using Morales, but Morales, they didn't think, could get down... Morales could not get down to the 140-pound range. Raymond Charles, who just fought to a six-round draw, Teddy, will probably be the next opponent for Cotto. Charles, 140 pounds. He can get down to about 139. And that'd be a nice little step forward for Cotto, where he could work and get something out of the fight. To be quite frank with you right now, he's just taking his time to just turn southpaw, Cotto. Right now, I think he's just practicing things. Yeah. It's just a matter of time right here. You don't need me to tell you that. It's up to Cotto. Does he want to get rid of Goldina, or does he want to go a couple rounds? Right here might be a good spot for Cotto to step to the side. Anytime you have a man standing right in front of you, Feet submitted to the ring. You can step to the side and get a clean shot on him. Godinez is probably going to make round two. That in itself is a bit of an upset. Terry, got a math question. Good fundamentals by the prospect, Cotto. Go to the body. You have your man near the ropes. He was making him miss a little bit. Where do you go? You go where it doesn't move, to that body. And a little delayed reaction from that left hook to the liver area by Cotto. Round number two underway. See if Cotto decides to take Godinez out. And that's the magic word, decides. That seems to be what it's all about here. Well, he switched to southpaw about halfway through the round. Working on that style. Which may have very well allowed Godinez to survive that round. Godinez got rocked again. This is where Cardo needs to go to the body. 
Mr. Venus is gonna move his head just like any fighter would to survive. But the body will not move, and that will freeze the head. Break, break. Young Cotto will learn that. Down goes Godinez. Two, Second time three, in the fight. And that was four, from a non-descript punch. And he doesn't want any more. No, says he gave to, up. Says to the referee, Robert Chapman, no more. So a glorified sparring session, a paid sparring session for Miguel Cotto. And hopefully in his next fight, we'll see him against a guy like Charles and Morales. A little bit tougher class. Yeah, it's time to do that. I know it's only two fights for the guy. You want to get him off and running. But it's time to do that. These Olympic fighters have had 200, 250, 300 amateur fights. They don't need to fight these kind of guys. They can step up and fight better guys. And it, they don't learn nothing with these guys. And it can send a bad message. That it's going to be easier than it really is going to be. I'm sure this kid has a, has a good work ethic, so maybe that won't be a problem with Cotto. And here you can see him just putting the finishing touches on it. That punch, a non-descript punch, landed on the glove. Now the referee asked, Robert Chapa asked Godinez. You might be able to see it from this angle. And uh, when he goes down, he asks, he starts to count, and uh, Godinez pretty much just said, that's enough. Well, the main event has Paulie Ayala fighting for the WBA Bantamweight Championship. He'll defend his title against Hugo D'Anzo. Miguel Cotto gets another victory. We'll send it back to Brian and Max.